الكريم أما بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان اللعين الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم فاسألوا أهل الذكر إن كنتم لا تعلمون وقال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم فقدوا باللذين من بعد أبي بكر وأمر وقال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم لمرات عتب إليه فأتي أبا بكر صدق الله العظيم وصدق رسوله النبي الكريم ونحن على ذلك من الشاهدين والشاكرين والحمد لله رب العالمين اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد which is I hold in light esteem and love I love to scorn the lust of pain was just a dream that vanished with the long. My dear and respectful brothers and honorable Maulana Rizwan Aziz Sahib, Assalamu alaikum. I want to say and declare why do we takli? I mean for him, one of the four Imam, Imam Shafi, Imam Abu Hanifa, Imam Malik, and Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal rahimahullah ta'ala and what's their status in Islamic Sharia as you know my brother Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has sent his messenger and prophets to mankind so that they show them the state path the path of those whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has favored not of those who go astray and the last messenger of Allah is our holy prophet <coughs> Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and he is last prophet of Islam and his book that he came with it is the last book of Allah named Holy Quran my brother Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's messages and his order are of two kinds one of them that we can understand and we can follow them without any difficulty and very easy for example, Allah says in Surah Iqlas, Ayah number 1, Kul huwa Allah wahad. O Prophet, say that God is one. And we can understand what's mean by God is one. That there is no God but Allah. And secondly, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ma kana Muhammadun aba ahdin min rijalikum, walakin rasool Allah wa khatam an nabiyin. That Muhammad, peace be upon him. He is the last Prophet of Allah. And when we hear this ayah, and when we recite this ayah, we understand that Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, is the last prophet. And we need no tension and no difficulty to understand this ayah. Similarly, when we, when we see that Holy Quran is the last book of Allah, we need no tension. So these manners of Fatawa, uh, these manners of Masai, are those that we need no tension and no anything to understand them. And the secondly are those that we cannot understand and we cannot follow them without a deeply knowledge, a deeply study of Islam, a deeply study of Quran and Hadith. So this manner of Masai that I mentioned, if someone who has a deep knowledge of Quran, deep knowledge of Hadith, he deducts these problems, he deducts these relations from the bottom of Islam. And we see him that he is a mujtari, a mujtari scholar. And someone who has no knowledge, he should follow this man. As Marana Hakim al Ummat Muhammad Ashraf al Tani, Rahimahullah, he says in his book, Al Yaktisar, page number 5, he mentions that words mean by taqlid. He says the kid means following somebody with heart and with soul without asking any proof, believing that he is saying or he is giving this fatwa in the light of Quran, in the light of Hadith, in the light of manners of Sahaba, in the light of manners of Tabi Rahimahullah. And he has the properties of Ishtihar that he can detect. Fatawas from the bottom of the Sharia. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as I recited, 
A verse from Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Surah Nahar, ayat number 43. Allah says, Fas'alu ahla zikr in kuntum la ta'lamun. Oh, someone who does not know, he should ask somebody who knows. And Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Faktahu illa dhani min ba'di abhi bakrim wa umar. That if I will not, you should obey, you should uh, obey two men. And said, Hazrat Abu Bakr and Hazrat Umar Razi Allah Akbar. So, somebody in this, you say, in this uh, manner, they say, that's taklid me, that taklid me, that you are obeying someone, you are following, following someone, and that is following behind me. But as I mentioned, that is not behind me, because who man, we are following him, we follow him, that he says, and he gives fatawas in the light of Quran, in the light of Hadith, in the light of the manners of companions in the manner of Tabi Rahimahumullah Ta'ala. So, if we will, uh, if we will on this path, a path of Sahaba, a path of Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, a path of Aima Arba, before Imam, we will on the right path. And if we will, on, we will not on this path, what will be? Our, it's not will be protect of our Holy Quran, not protection of Hadith, not protection of Book of Holy Quran. And in the last, I want to mention some books that uh, our, uh, you say, our great scholar, Maulana Mufti Muhammad Taqli Ismani has written, Taqlid ki Shari Hasyat in Urdu language, and Maulana Imam Ali Sundar, Maulana Sad Faraz Khan Sabdar, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, he wrote Al, <coughs> Al Kalam Al Mufid Fi Isbad Al Taqlid. And I advise you and you to others that we should read these books so that we protect our Quran, we protect our Sharia and we protect our religion. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.